This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham and I've got Robbie Hull, my co-host here with me. Thanks for joining us again, Robbie. You're welcome. And you have a special guest today too. I'll let you introduce her. Good morning, Ava, and thank you for joining us. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Please tell us a little about yourself and your background. Well, as you mentioned, my name is April and I am a registered veterinary technician. I've been in veterinary medicine for the last 24 years. So, and in this area for the same length of time. How, how do you prevent tick bites? For pre preventing tick bites, the easiest way is to stay away from areas where they're known to be, such as long grasses, bush, and that kind of area. How often should you check our pet for ticks? You should be checking your pet for ticks after every walk. Um, if you're out in the bush or out walking around with them and having a good time, you always want to check them. The key areas are around their collar, around their ears, around their muzzle, and around their tail and belly. Uh, typically the areas where there's not a lot of hair. What should you do in finding a tent? If you happen to find a tick on your pet, the easiest way to remove it is with a tick twister. You can get these at a lot of different pet stores and your veterinarian. What they are, okay, is, I don't know how well you can see this, but it just like looks like a little crowbar, okay? And you just kind of slide it under the tick, you twist it and you pull up. You don't want to use tweezers or anything like that because that can actually push the blood from the tick back into your pet, which can be dangerous. It can help um, spread the Lyme disease faster. It, is there a certain type of shampoo you should use if you find a tick? Shampoos won't help to get rid of ticks. The easiest way to get rid of ticks is to actually put your pet on a tick prevention. So as soon as the weather is above four degrees Celsius, the ticks are active. Uh, most of those are a once a month. You can either use topical or you can use an oral preventative. Those are the best way to prevent them. And those can be picked up from your veterinarian. With the warm weather coming, what should we do to keep our pet safe and healthy? The best thing you can do is right now is be getting them on the flea and tick prevention because we don't want Lyme disease. There is a lot of it in our area, so we want to prevent it. And you also want to be careful with yourself as well because if there's ticks going onto your pets, they can go onto you as well. Um, getting them out for lots, lots of nice walks this time of year is great for them, but you do want to stay away from rivers or lakes where the ice might be thin. Is, is it true our pets can have allergies? Absolutely. Just like with humans, pets can be allergic to anything they touch, they eat, they inhale, and that's actually very common to have allergies in our pets. What, what kind of food is the best for our pets? The best type of food for your pet is the one that works for them. You can go out and buy the most expensive food for your pet, but if it gives them vomiting or diarrhea, then it's not the right food for them. You just want to find one that keeps their coat nice and healthy, make sure their belly is happy, so no vomiting or diarrhea, and that's the best thing you can do for them. Okay. Could you tell us one of your most interesting tech stories? Most interesting tick story was probably finding about 50 plus ticks on a little tiny kitten that over time we just had to keep removing them and removing them as we found them and they just kept getting bigger and bigger. When you first tick first lands on your pet, it's actually the size of about a poppy seed. And as they grow, they do get bigger to the size of almost a jelly bean. 
Thank you for joining us today, April. We really appreciate you reading it. Thank you for inviting me. I enjoyed doing it. Yes, thank you very much, April. I, I have a question, uh, maybe not a question so much as, as uh, I think people think when they, when, with ticks it's only in the country, but we can get them in cities and in, in towns as well, right? Absolutely. Ticks like anywhere where there's long grass. Um, so there's lots of areas in the town where there's lots of brush, the dog park, uh, anywhere in town where there's anything like that. And ticks actually don't jump, jump. They actually fall. So they'll get on the top of a branch or something and actually will fall onto your pet. That's how they pick them up. That's interesting. I always thought they were on the ground. Nope. No. Nope. We've what? actually seen them crawling on the snow. Really? And as soon as degrees those ticks are active and looking for a meal wow wow that's that's amazing that's amazing now and we were t we're talking about ticks right now too because of lyme disease too what what does lyme disease look like in your pet if you started seeing some symptoms some of the symptoms that you'll see in our pets is they'll get a fever they just feel unwell almost like us with the flu and you'll sometimes see them what we call shifting lameness so on monday they'll be sore on their front left leg on tuesday they'll be sore on their back right and it just varies that way Wow. wow. Well, it is getting warm out there and it is above four degrees. So we need to start watching this. Uh, and, and you made a good point. It's for our pets and for ourselves as well. Absolutely. That's right. That's right. Well, I thank you very much for being here. Uh, Robbie Hall, thanks again for putting all this together, Robbie. You're welcome. All right. Thank you very much. We have uh, April here, here from, uh, and where are, you, where are you working right now, April? I'm here at Lanark Veterinary Clinic right in town. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you very much for doing what you do to keep our pets safe. Thank you for inviting me.